Now we're going to catch straight currents in this cable main fault. Few people know, but a person can feel electricity even without testers or other devices. To feel the electricity, we need a regular neodymium magnet. All that is needed is to hold it in your fingers in the most sensitive area and bring it to the wire. If the tension of the wire is sufficient, then it will be felt even from a distance. What do you feel? I feel the vibration and it can probably get magnetized, although no. Try these wires. Wow, this one is magnetizing. That's obvious, but you should feel the electricity. I feel here. Do you feel the energy? Yeah. So these cables are good for us? Yeah, it can be used for charging. Is it vibrating? Yeah, it is. So guys, without any smart devices, but just with an ordinary magnet, you can find out if the electricity there or not. This cable has because it vibrates, but here it doesn't. Let me try now. Wow, take it in your hand. I'm filming now. I can feel it even at this distance. Between them is most felt. All right, we found the wire. Next, that needs to be done is to capture the magnetic field. This can be done in different ways. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to take the transformer of an LTV, or rather, it's just its iron piece. There were wires wrapped around, which had already been cast for Cooper. This part is usually thrown away. Tell me, is it safe? Yes, it's safe. Is this cable not suitable? Let's check it out now. Now there is no electricity here. Nothing? Nothing, guys. There are so many cables and they are without voltage. How can it be? We said that half of the cables are not working here. Whoa, shine here. You see it simply coming off. Yeah, I see. This thing is an ordinary iron. Do you think it's magnet? No, it's just an iron. Let me check to believe it. No, it doesn't magnetize. Let's try now to capture the magnetic field. We'll put this thing like this. Nothing seems to be happening and now we're shortening out the magnetic field that is created around the wire. Look, it's here. Yes. <laughs> wow. There was energy, I felt it. But what was that? Magnetic field? So around the wire different eddy currents loses are created, currents and energies are scratched differently and we collect these loses. Therefore, these two pieces are now quickly magnetized and repelled like this back and forth. This makes such a strange sound. If you press tightly, then there is no strong sound, but if you start to separate them, then... Is it vibration? Yeah, it's just vibration. But in order to get electricity of 220 volts, we need to wind a coil. Here I found such a demagnetization loop from the CMTV. It's all rolled up. Now the task is to wind it very tightly to make as many turns on this thing as possible. Is it copper? Yes, there is a cooper inside, just a cooper coil. Tell me, is it legal? Of course, we're just picking up straight current. And can we do harm to any cables? No, if we don't break the cable, there will be no harm. The iron piece also takes the magnetic field on itself at this one, there is no difference. You tell, is a magnetic field harmful to humans? The main task is to wind it here as tightly as possible, the more wind. The more current we get. I've almost won it, but I want to make a last round. I wonder if I can do it or not. It's done. I had two wires here. They were inserted into a TV circuit and just tied it such an outlet to them, where we connect the in for charging. But so that it won't be dark, I attached such a bulb holder on the second wire. Let's check with the tester how many volts are here. Let's turn on the light bulb right away. What if they are more than 220 volts and the light bulb burns out? We have such a tester to measure the mean's voltage. Okay, let's check it. I will burn this here and here we'll already have energy. Will it not shock anyone? Well, actually it shouldn't. So? It's there. It's fluctuating between 122 and 124. The cable is too weak, but 124 volts should be enough for us to charge the phone and everything else. We specifically found such a light bulb. Let me get it out for you. Well, it's 120 volts, but that's okay. It's LED. First we need to twist it in and then turn it on, right? Yes, twist it in first, also it doesn't matter at all, so shall we try it? Okay, now I'll hang it. So that you don't get an electric shock. Well, just in case. Welfare energy show what are you capable of? 
Damn, it even flares up. Cool. I couldn't keep the magnet, this thing needs to be wrapped with electrical tape, because the denser it is, the more energy we got. Wow, the light is on. So it turns out that we got electricity and light just out of thin air? Yeah, this is a wasted or lost energy, just warms up all these holders. Tell me how many of these bulbs can we hang on this white cable? Well, we can hang so much thin as we want, I warned if anything will charge if or move it, now everything is even. So you can connect 100 or 200 bulbs? Is this method used by state electricians? Very rarely, because it's too little energy for them. Here, megawatts are transmitted over these wires. What do they need these 5 watts, which we managed to save? The light is on well. I'll turn off my big flashlight now. Look, I completely turn off the flashlight and we have a full-fledged light bulb that fully illuminates the room. Let's turn on the charging at the same time as the light bulb. I wonder, will it withstand such a load? Does it vibrate in your hand? Yes, it does. It will help to keep them from falling. Then we'll wrap it with electrical tapes. See how the light goes? out when I separate these parts. Oh, okay, some rubbish got here and there was no tight contact. But you can't get an electric shock, right? No, it won't shock unless, of course, you don't touch here where 220 volts are formed, but in our case it's only 130 volts. But as you can see, this is enough for a light bulb. Now it's close in contact. Turn on the charging. The light bulb has become brighter. Because close contact. Wow, look, the phone is charging. So light bulb and telephone are connected. What else do we have? Can we boil the water? With blade? Yes. Well, we can try. In order to minimize losses, the manufacturers of these cables make a shield inside, that is, they shield them. If this were not done, then there will be huge magnetic fields. But nevertheless, even through the screen, part of the energy breaks out, and we can collect it. So it turns out that a part of the current flies through the air? Yes, it does, and it only brings harm, no benefit. So's brother board, now we'll make a bench, make a table, and it will be cool here. It turned out high. It's fine. This is a table, not a bench. Great, we have a kettle and blades, now we're going to make a boiler. Do you know how the boiler is made in prison, just with blade and wire? This is the first time I've heard that. Guys, I want to fix it now. So you can power an apartment with such a wire? <laughs> we found such a wire. On the one side there is a plug, and on the other side there are two contacts. We attach two blades to these two contacts. Careful not to injure yourself. On one here and the other here. They are even smeared with something. Electricity passes through the water, and water is a semiconductor, and it starts to heat up, that is, the water itself is a heating element. Does it spoil the water in any way? Just a little, we'll not fill it, so be careful, I'm turning on this thing now, let's hope it doesn't shock. We turn it on and put it down here. See, now the light is dimming. Yes, when you put it in water, it fades. But there is no reaction. What should be the reaction like? There should be bubbles, although maybe it takes a little time. Of course, it takes time. Now let's check if there is a tension. You see, they just stick together. There are sparks, it's fine. That is now some kind of powerful energy, it's just straight currents. How long does it take for the water to boil? Now we'll see that, that is what the experiment is, let's check it out. Bubbles are already appearing. If there are bubbles, then everything works. Where are the bubbles? Maybe the light should be turned off. Let's turn it off. To have more energy. Yes, let's do it like that. Well, has the energy increased? Well, it should. Nothing seems to work out. Well, we gotta wait. Okay, let's wait while we remove the foil roller, it will just boil. So what are you doing? What it is? Protection against cryosan. Is it protection against the magnetic field against tray currents? Yeah, so that currents don't enter me. Isn't the world boiling yet? No. The blades get closer, look, the bubbles appear, small, but they're raw. It's need to be more deeper. Do you feel the warmth? Does it heat up? Yeah, it does. We decided to put it in a plastic cup because the blades touch it, the who's in, and someone could get an electric shock. Turn it on. Will there be bubbles or not? There is energy, but it heats up very slowly. Of course, this is not 500 watts, so it takes time for the water to warm up. Okay, let's wait.
Now there will be a dangerous experiment with a super saw, so dangerous that I had to wear gloves. Why are you wearing them? Won't it kill me? We'll now try to make an auto-heating, that is, connect this battery so that this foil begins to heat up. Let's try on some small skill first. It's scary to do it. But why are you afraid? What if it gets very hot, more than I expect? Did you see that? Yeah. Well, you see, it's sparkling. In general, we need to start up the current from here to here. Touch it. Is this part heating up? There's a kind of burnt smell. Yes, it's warming up. It now goes through the holes, heat and heats everything up. This is how we warm the suit. Electric current passes through the foil and what we get? It just heats up, it generates heat. This is the easiest way to make a heating. You just need to run electricity from several such batteries through these holes, heat and that is, it will be warm. How many batteries do we need to connect? So that it become hot? Yeah. I think four is enough. This is what I told you before filming the episode, that I want to make an electric blanket. Here is the electric blanket. You don't need any cord for a warm floor because the foil itself is essentially a heater. Do you guys want a warm suit? Write in the comments. Alex will make a warm suit for you. What's with the water? Are there any bubbles? Look, there are some bubbles in the middle. It seems to me that the energy is weak, also the water has become warmer. Has it become warmer? Just a little. The energy is not enough to heat water. Here we have energy somewhere around 20-30 watts and the boiler needs 500 watts, that is 10 times more. Guys, I forgot the most important thing. The light is not the most important thing, it's the flashlight. We need to charge the flashlight on the ground. This is the most important thing. I have a flashlight with a soldered portable charger. So let's connect it now. You see the flashlight is charging. It even charges at the same time as the light bulb. There is enough energy for both flashlight and the light bulb at the same time. Yes, there is enough energy. Guys, we have a space viral foil blanket with a fine gold platine. Well, it's fake, but okay. That looks really interesting. Yeah, check it out. It looks space solar panels. Wow. <laughs> In tourism, it's used to save a frostbitten person so that the person doesn't die. He is wrapped in such a foil. It's very compact. But you won't roll it back again. Let's check out its strength. Well, try to tear off the edge. Well, it tears off well. It's still much stronger than ordinary foil, probably 10 times. How to roll it back? It rustles unpleasantly when you sleep in it. I've tried several times. Don't you sweat in it? You sweat a lot. I use it only if the situation is hopeless and there is no choice. So on one side it's silver and on the other it's gold. Is it true that it's covered with a nano layer of gold? Come on, that's absolutely not true. It's really nice to the touch, very soft. Like the wing of a bat. So in this way, in an extreme situation, a person will not die but will be saved by warming himself. I thought to walk down the street like this. In such a thing you can just sleep on concrete. What's this sticking out of you? Joy. It's the six pack. Oh, it's empty there. How does it feel? It's okay. Warm? Yes. May I have another foil hat? So the experiment went well, everything works fine, you can charge phone, turn on the light bulbs, charge flashlights, in general all low power devices can be powered, even a laptop. It really works, you see the transformer, it hasn't burned out yet, it hangs and collects energy. The main thing is that there is nothing expensive, just spare parts from an old TV, this is enough to collect magnetic energy and turn it into 220 volts. The main thing is that you don't need to cut the cable. We have once again proved that in the most unfavorable place you can live with electricity by charging phones, turning on the light and at the same time not harming anyone. It was Super Seuss, Kryosan, Dima, Polina and another Dima with you and a LED light bulb. Thanks to Underground Key, which allows us to do such underground experiments, to have a great time. There is some kind of protest going on above, but everything is fine here under the ground. Write in the comments what else you want to see from us. Thanks everyone, we tried our best for you. Careful! Have you got used to it already? Yes, everything is fine. It's not really hard to be here. You only need clothes that you don't mind getting dirty and you can be like a fish in the water. <sighs> everything is cool. But what am I doing here? Dima, you are hooked. All good.
Damn how dirty you are! No big deal! Where did you get so dirty? We need to mask the entrance again. We're walking in the underground sewage tunnel, so what can you expect? Do you want to mask the entrance? Yes, be sure to close it again. Well, I thought we could leave it like that for the next guest. It's like a sign of courtesy. You know, workers can see that it is open and can completely weld the entrance with iron. Completely? Yeah? Yeah, that's why we need to close it. That's it, guys. The entrance is closed and not a single special service will find it out. And we simply ask our viewers not to tell anyone and it will remain a secret between us. It's locked. Where is the lock? Who opened it? I don't know. Here workers close and open it and I stand at the post. Uh. <laughs> Do you play instrument here? Guys, we got out of here. Well, why are they closed? What do you want to listen? Something nice. Was it nice? Yes, thank you very much. Are you filming something here? Yes. I hope my acquaintances will not see it. Thank you so much. Well, guys, let's go out. We started a music fest here. Well, guys, we're in the underground passage. Finally, we're in the civilization. We could have also gone out there behind the fence. Whoa, but how could we get out of there? We always find the ways.